From hot deserts to cold mountains and icy waters, Utah's only salamander species finds a way to survive. Barred tiger salamanders begin their lives in the water, first as eggs and then as gilled larvae. Many of the salamanders will undergo metamorphosis by late summer or early fall, trading their gills for lungs and taking to the land. There, they'll dig burrows to stay warm as temperatures drop. Others will remain in the larval stage for several seasons or even mature and live their entire lives aquatically. In late fall and winter, the larvae often bury themselves at the bottom of muddy ponds, but if some of the water remains unfrozen, they can remain active but slow under the ice, sometimes not moving for days or weeks at a time. They'll reemerge next year, most likely as monsoons rage, to reproduce. Those interested in seeing the salamanders before then can visit Red Cliffs Discovery Center in St. George or attend a public event with Southern Utah University's animal ambassadors. Barred tiger salamanders are a controlled species in Utah, so keeping them in captivity, as seen here in footage courtesy of the Red Cliffs Desert Reserve and Randall Vincent, requires a permit. This is Alicia Longman reporting for St. George News, your number one source for local news.